Jim Hart with NACER National. Does the term public refer to U.S. citizens only? I mean, is that the intent of this? And my other question is, is there any um, free of charge? Would it stop the organization from collecting any data like register, like who's requesting the information and what kind of platform they have to provide it in? So that, that's my question. I don't think we would read the statute to be limited to American citizens. It would just be, I think it'd be any, any individual, the public. So we didn't read, as a limit, read it as U.S. citizens only. Especially in this age of international regulatory cooperation, we want our citizens to have equal access to laws in other countries that might affect them. Um, also, because the, the language in Section 24, as you see, I mean, that, that is it. It doesn't prescribe whether um, FEMSA, DOT, SDOs, or anyone else have to put in a registration or don't, whether they should or shouldn't. So I think part of what we want to talk about today is what are some of the options um, as we try to figure out how to make these accessible. If an SDO thinks that a registration certification of who you are when you come in to the website, um, certify your, I don't know, you're a citizen versus an operator or something of that sort, I think those are those are implementation discussions that we would want to have sort of you all help us work through before, um, before making any decisions. But I, I certainly don't think that the language that's up here tells us how to implement. That's part of the, the reason we want to get feedback from you guys. So I think a registration would be fine. <laughs> 